One of the most underrated tools for church production ministry is a KVM. It stands for keyboard, video, mouse. This solution allows you to really clean up the tech booth at your church. It also makes troubleshooting and programming your system much, much quicker. In this video, I wanna show you what this all looks like with my setup here at my church. And by the end of the video, I'm gonna to recommend to you my favorite KVM solutions for churches. One of them is more value and budget friendly. The other one is more professional but it has a ton of power and capability, even for smaller to mid-sized churches. All this is coming up. And before we dive into the video, make sure you download the Church Front Toolkit. I'll link it below. I'm gonna have links to all of the items that I'm gonna cover in this video. Let's dive in. The first major benefit of using a KVM in your production setup is cleanliness. I don't know about you, but I really like having clean, simple workstations. So check out our tiny little workstation setup that we have here, this little tech booth at Rock Harbor Church. Come down here. I bet, you know, you don't see the bottom of uh, a lot of tech booths these days and neither can you actually sit under them like this as comfortably as I am because we don't have a bunch of clutter down here. It's clean, it's simple. Sean and our team, I think this is the one who did all the dressing here. Did a great job, Sean, good job. With, uh, with enough zip ties, all things are possible. So this is our KVM unit underneath the table. Notice it's not a computer, uh, even though computers these days are getting pretty small, like Mac minis are small. The ability to be able to have the Mac minis back in the rack with all of the peripherals. It's not really the computer that itself that's the problem with the cleanliness and the size. It's really all of the IO, the inputs and outputs that go into it, USB, network connections. We have a very robust network set up here and our computer has like three or four separate network interface connections uh, that can just get really cluttered if you had that here underneath the tech booth. Um, so we've got the KVM right here. We've got our network uh, switch over here. Um, we've got, this is a NDI decoder. So these are all very small things that you can undermount under, underneath a desk or a tabletop or a workstation and you can use dual lock. We really like dual lock because it's like super strong. It's not going anywhere, works really well. So cleanliness is very important. And if we move up here, the top of the workstation, also very clean. Um, we've got our monitors, keyboard, and we get our mouse. We really like the Macaulay keyboard and mice. You can get more premium setups if you would like, but these ones work great, especially if you're uh, running Mac computers. And these are just simple Dell monitors, but any 1080p monitor will work great with these KVMs. We are using single monitor setups for a lot of our workstations, especially with the specific model, the adder models here. You can get KVMs that do dual monitor, uh, but these ones being network KVMs, they can only do uh, single, at least for this particular model. A lot of the time an operator is really focusing on one application, or if you need to toggle between applications, you can just use the key commands with the operating system to, to make that change. Um, or you could just have multiple windows opened on the same screen. Another massive benefit of KVMs is the ability to toggle between your different computers. So here typically at Rock Harbor, we have uh, this workstations for our waves control. This is a separate PC computer. This workstation is for computer graphics with ProPresenter. We also run LightKey on this computer. And then over here, we have a computer for video switching. We've got ATEM control software right here so we can cut video for our live stream. But this has already come in handy almost every single Sunday where we have someone who's operating something on ProPresenter. They're sitting here at this desk and because they're the volunteer for the morning and I'm standing over here on this workstation and the ProPresenter person's like, hey, I'm having an issue with ProPresenter, can you help? They don't have to get up and move out of the way. I can simply just bring up the ProPresenter Center computer right here on this monitor, and now I'm controlling that computer. So you can see, actually, both of these monitors are mirroring each other, doing the same thing. And then when I'm done, I can go back to what I was doing on the video switching computer. So this is great on a Sunday morning to make troubleshooting much quicker. People aren't having to move in and out of the way. You don't have to trade keyboard and uh, your mouse. Uh, you can just quickly get control of whatever machine you need. You probably gonna let that person know, hey, I'm, I'm hopping on there and controlling it now. 
um, and makes troubleshooting quick. But then also during the week, as I'm just setting up our systems, let's say I wanted to camp out at this workstation right here and I'm working on ProPresenter and I'm like, okay, I actually have two instances of ProPresenter. One is running on this machine for our main side screens and our confidence monitors that we've got going on here. But if I toggle to my uh, video machine, I'm actually running a second instance of ProPresenter. This is for our LED banners. So I'm pulling in NDI from this ProPresenter machine going into this ProPresenter machine. And this is where I'm gonna be editing the content for those LED screens. So if I'm like trying to set up uh, some cues for the content, let me go back here to the main ProPresenter and then I'll go down to our sermon. I believe this past week, our pastor was using some cues. I actually have some MIDI cues and macros set up to be able to cue different LED graphics on the other instance of ProPresenter. So it's just much easier when I'm bouncing between two instances of ProPresenter on two different machines, I can just do it here instead of going from here and then over here and over here and over here. It might be a good way to get exercise going back and forth, but uh, it is fatiguing. It kind of gets annoying after a while. It's so nice to be able to just log onto whatever machine from the same spot. It makes troubleshooting quicker and programming during the week much more efficient. Another really cool use case of KVMs for churches is let's say you have a special event happening at your church. And in our space, uh, we actually had our church front conference here and this older building doesn't really have much space set up for it uh, for media and production control. We don't have a tech booth, we just have that table. And because we had more production going on that week, we wanted to have an actual dedicated control room for the event. So we're actually able to go into our nursing mother's room. Uh, there was nobody else who had needed to use this room for that event. Not really true on Sunday morning because we have lots of moms in this church. Um, but we were able to take our KVM uh, node, the Adderlink XDIP, put it in here, and then we tie it into the network because we have a network connection coming to, into this room. And we put another network switch here. And now we can have our workstations in this separate room. So we have a dedicated control room to control ProPresenter and to have video switching. We had a video director calling out cues and we could do that because we moved everybody in here with the KVM. So if you have KVMs and then if you have Dante audio, if you have NDI video like we did, it just makes it really easy to move that production control anywhere you want in the building so long as you have that network connection in those rooms. KVMs are a game changer when it comes to integrating your computers into the rest of your audio, video, and lighting systems. So in a lot of the builds you guys have seen us do on the channel, we have equipment racks that house all the gear safely somewhere in one central location, it makes it much more convenient and efficient to troubleshoot or service any gear. Or if you're gonna upgrade things, you have a spot to put that new equipment and then you can easily tie it into your system. So these equipment racks here, we have our 48 port uh, network switch here at the top. That one has a 24 port in audio world. A lot more network connections happening in this rack because we got computers, we got video uh, connections over NDI, we've got Dante connections, um, and all of our computers are actually housed in this equipment rack. So we've got a uh, X Mac mini server here with a Mac in it. We've got our Waves Access Scope computer. Uh, we actually have another Mac mini up here on a shelf. This is for our broadcast video uh, workstation. And when all the computers are in a rack, then all the connections to those computers are right here. So if we need to add a network connection, another network connection to a computer, it's just a simple patch cable from our network patch bay down to the computer instead of having to like run a cable somewhere to that computer wherever it's located. Because we also have a system that's based so much on network infrastructure and network connections for Dante, NDI, control, each of those networks, those VLANs, require their own network interface card or NIC for short. So that's like the little USB-C to ethernet dongle that's plugged into the computer. One of our computers actually has four network interface connections with Dante, NDI, Streaming ACN, and the control network. We separate them all into VLANs using uh, our Unify network gear. Uh, you can check out our trainings on that on our website at churchfront.com. Um, but that allows us to 
easily integrate all those various patch cables and connections here rather than having that computer live in the tech booth somewhere and then there I have to have my 48 port uh, or more switches at the tech booth to make all those connections happen. Another cool use case I've seen of KVMs in a church is actually having a KVM workstation on your stage next to your drum set or your keyboard position where you have your music director uh, controlling and Ableton or whatever track software you're using. So then you can actually easily, you know, control your tracks from that workstation, or if someone else on the production team needs to remote in to that workstation uh, with KVM, they can, can help set up the tracks session and file, or they could set up the MIDI cues going to ProPresenter. Just another handy use case for a KVM scenario. At Churchfront, when we're building solutions for the churches that work with us, we've been using these two solutions. We've got the AV Access KVMs, and AV Access makes multiple types of KVMs. This is the most popular, the HDEX60-DM line. There's a receiver side and a transmitter. This one is not over an IP connection. Uh, AV Access does make those, but they were not at all reliable when we've tried configuring them ourselves. Could have been configuring it improperly, uh, but when we compare those IP solutions to the Adderlink uh, XDIPs, which I'll talk about in a second, it's just night and day difference. Adderlink is the way to go for professional IP KVM. But these AV access extenders have worked really well for simple point to point connections. You do have to have a dedicated CAT6 run from the transmitter at the computer to your workstation, wherever that is. And that's a really affordable way to get into it for less than like $300. But then we have what I would consider the more professional KVM over IP solution. That is the Adderlink XD IP solution. So this is a node. This is what it looks like. This is what we're using here at Rock Harbor. This gives you that ability to toggle between the various machines that are connected to these nodes. So it's the same device that you use at both the computer side and the console workstation side. There is no latency. Switching between computers is very quick and as long as your Unify network is set up properly, it's completely stable and it's been very reliable for us. So I highly recommend the Adderlink XD IPs for the more professional solution, but it's a bit pricier. These are around, I think, six to $700 uh, per node. So you can do the math. If you have three computers and three workstations, you wanna to toggle between all of them, you're gonna to have to multiply that six to $700 times six that's gonna be your investment in just getting the nodes for that. And you wanna make sure too, you have the strong network backbone as well. I hope you guys found that helpful. At Churchfront, we're about equipping you with innovative solutions for thriving ministry. We do have an in-depth training on configuring KVMs for your church. It's available for Churchfront premium members. So go to churchfront.com to learn more and subscribe today. Let me know your thoughts or questions down below this video. Do you have any other benefits or pros or cons about using KVMs at your church, let us all know down below in the comments for the community. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.